Humans eat sweet almonds, not wild almonds, which are bitter. They're also filled with lethal cyanide, which can kill you. But if you do find yourself in the wild and see some wild almonds, maybe don't eat them. Cherry pips have hydrogen cyanide inside them, so don't be stupid and try to chew them. The pips themselves, however, are so thick and hard, you can swallow one and it'll come out intact, which is, I guess, its own punishment. Undercooking your kidney beans will result in a toxin called phytohemagglutinin. Boiling them enough will neutralize it. If your mom is telling you to eat your lima beans, tell her you're sort of afraid of cyanide poisoning and that uncooked legumes are filled with it. Rhubarb stalks are great. Its leaves not so much. They contain oxalic acid, also found within bleach, which you also probably shouldn't consume. If you ever see a green potato, don't eat it. They're loaded with solanine, a poison that will initially make you puke. Keep eating it and it'll eventually cause a cardiac arrest. There are a myriad of unhealthy components to margarine and other butter imposters such as hexane, an industrial chemical that can have toxic effects. Several preservatives of questionable safety are also added to margarines. Used as medicinal tea and also find in wine, elderberries are pretty much everywhere. Eat them when they're completely ripe and consume no other part of the plant as it contains the deadly toxin cyanogenic glycoside. The green unripe tomatoes, its leaves and stems contain small amounts of the poison alkaloid tomatine as well as solanine, the same toxin found in potato leaves. Canned tomatoes are also dangerous. Many leading brands of canned foods contain BPA, a toxic chemical linked to reproductive abnormalities, neurological effects, heightened risk of breast and prostate cancers, diabetes, heart disease, and other serious health problems. A couple of servings of canned food can exceed the safety limits for daily BPA exposure for children. Apple seeds, also called pips, have a sugar cyanide structure called amygdalin, which turns into deadly hydrogen cyanide. It only takes 100 to 200 milligrams of cyanide to kill an adult within minutes. Naturally, it'd take far less to kill a child. Don't worry if you swallowed a couple of seeds though, your body can handle very small amounts of cyanide, but don't keep doing it. And never chew the seeds, as this releases the cyanide into your bloodstream directly. If you don't chew them, most seeds would pass out of the body whole.